kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown, Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Cougars Relocation Franchise here on MLB The Show 22 and we return. Last episode we played opening day and then we simulated some things and some things didn't go well during the rest of the the early part of the month of April and we're currently 500 right now. We've simulated about 18 or 16 games. We are 8 and 8. Um we've kind of struggled a little bit. But then again, we haven't really I don't know, it's it's weird because we've kind of started off a little slow. I'm hoping that we can pick things up. We kind of started to pick things up a little bit towards the end of the simulation. Uh, and now we are here where we're going to play our game in, in April, so I think we can do it. I think we can we can start to pick things up and actually like win a bunch of games, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? we got to find out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Let's get into the video so that we can hopefully get a W and get off this 500 streak and go win a bunch of games. Let's get into it. All right, we are here. It is April 11, 2027. We are taking on the Blue Jays in the series. And we're doing this because Trevor Wa Trevor Rogers Trevor Rogers is the starting pitcher for this game, and we want to pitch with him because he is one of our new additions, along with Ronald Acuna, who we saw in the loss on opening day to the Angels, which I'm still not over. Still not over the loss. I also am still not over the fact that Evan McMahon or not Evan McMahon, um, Luther Curtis has completely sold me for the past multiple times that I've given him an opportunity he has really just frustrated me to no end so because of that he's probably gonna be on the move but the only way that we can move him is if we also trade somebody that makes a lot more money because of the fact that we have no cap space because we're paying so many guys so much money so can we can we move on from somebody that makes a lot of money who's making a lot of money that we don't really want uh, everybody that is making a lot of money is guys that I feel like we should we should be able to use. The only guy would be a starting pitcher, like Scooble. Is Scooble having Scooble's one and zero? Shane Baz is two and one. I mean, our pitchers are having a good day, so maybe we just have to keep him. Maybe we just have to keep him and, and suffer through. But this is what the month of March looked like. The end of the month, where we kind of struggled out the gate, started zero and three, but then we picked up three of our last four. Then we went on a little bit of a win streak with winning like these last two against Detroit and then winning the first two against Philly. Then we lost two, one, two, lost one, one, one. So we're, we're kind of like up and down right now. But we played the Orioles, who we have historically had a very rough time against in simulation for some strange reason. It's not like they're the greatest team in, in the world, but we've struggled with them for some reason. And then we got the Rangers, the Giants, Guardians, Rays, and then the Twins to begin the month of May. We'll go into the month of May in the next episode. We'll go into the month of June in the next ep in the episode after. Then we got July. Then we got August, September, and then the playoffs, hopefully. So these seasons go pretty quick. They go by pretty quick. But we've got to hopefully win this game against the Blue Jays. It's the first time we played the Blue Jays in a minute. I don't think we played them in a while. The lineup, Acuna's a little cold. He's played in 14 games so far, 58 at-bats, 3 home runs, 12 RBIs, hitting 190. So he's kind of struggling out the gate, but everybody's struggling out the gate. Except for Jordan, I guess. Five home runs in 14 games. I guess he's not really struggling, but it seems like nobody's really off to an amazing start. Maybe that'll I'll change once we get deeper into the season. Otani's 0-1. We need to pick up the pace with the, uh, the pitching, but other than that, I think we're good to go for starting this game. Rodgers versus Manoa. Blue Jays, we're going to the Rogers Center. And the retractable roof will be open, I guess, whatever. It <laughs> doesn't really matter. Trevor Rogers will be on the mound. Otani's actually kind of tired because he probably just pitched. But we're going to keep him as the DH just because I want to hit with him. <laughs> he wasn't the DH last time we played because he was on the mound for opening day. So I want to hit with him. 
uh, at least once this season, so let's have him be there. Oh, and former Chicago Coug two former Chicago Cougars are on, on this Blue Jays team. Pete Alonzo and Frankie Lindor are playing for the Blue Jays. I knew that Francisco was playing here because we traded him to the Blue Jays, I'm pretty sure, to get somebody back. Who was that? Is that who, how we got Alejandro Kirk? I can't even remember how we got him or how he got over here. I know we traded him to the Blue Jays, but Pete Alonzo, we traded to like the Reds or something. I forget where he went, but he must have just signed here in the offseason or something like that. So both Chicago Cougar, former Chicago Cougar players, Alonzo and Francisco Lindor, who were not on this team when we won the World Series last year, are coming back to maybe get some revenge. This is a this is a new development. This is the first time we've played them, right? It's certainly the first time we played against Pete Alonso. It might not be the first time we played against Francisco Lindor. I don't know. But they're, this is a new development now. This is this raises the stakes a little bit. Now we got to beat the Blue Jays not only to get out of our little bit of a slump we've been in, but we got to prove that moving on from Alonso. From one Blue Jays way in Toronto, welcome to Rogers Center. Today in the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Cougars and the Toronto Blue Jays. Book Shami alongside Chris Singleton, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now on the hill here today, Alec Manoa. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in is the speedy Jazz Chisholm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. 3-1 count to lead off for Smooth Jazz. Alec Manoa, who has been struggling last season and probably into this season, maybe. Uh, he is 1-0, though, so we'll see how he does today. Alex Manoa, Alec Manoa, excuse me, is a possible trade target that I've been wanting since we actually started this entire franchise. I wanted him from the beginning, but he was, one, he was way too expensive at the start. They call that a ball? Thank you, umpire. I appreciate that, because I should have swung that. But I wanted Manoa from the start, but he was way too valuable to, to get out of the Blue Jays from what we had at the time. So we weren't able to get him, and now we don't have any money, and he's still kind of valuable at this point. But he's also, every year in the offseason, he's still under arbitration. So when we get to the offseason, he doesn't ever have a contract because he's got to wait for his arbitration deal to kick in. So... That's another reason why we were never able to trade for him. Because usually when I was going to trade for him, it would have been in the offseason when he, uh, when his arbitration deal was not active yet. So that's another one of the reasons why we weren't able to get him yet. I almost wanted to send Jazz to third. It might have worked. He might have been thrown out. Who knows? Good job, Alex Riley. Alex Riley? What's his name? Austin Riley. Why did I say Alex? That's a former WWE wrestler, Alex Riley. Austin Riley is, is his name. I knew that didn't sound right. <laughs> Jordan Alvarez, 2-2 two, two count to him after looking at the ball. And he's going to hit that one into right field, but we're going to send Jazz home. Jordan with an RBI to start the game. Big time. You love to see it. The boys lead 1-0. Good job, Jordan. And now we got Otani. Why are they giving me a win expectancy in the first inning? <laughs> Come on, Otani. I haven't hit, hit with you in a while, so show me something I haven't seen in a minute. Give me a big time home run or something. I would love that. I would absolutely very much in love that. I could have hit a home run with that ball if the PCI was up in the zone a little bit and the timing was a little bit better. That was actually a pretty good pitch for me to hit a home run on. Uh, so I'll give Manoa that. He actually gave me a pitch. But unfortunately, it wasn't the pitch, the timing that I wanted, or the PCI where I wanted it. MJ Melendez. Anything in the outfield. Actually, probably something deeper in the outfield is the only way we score Austin Riley. Because he doesn't have the greatest amount of speed. He probably was like in the 50s or 60s. 
for speed, so he doesn't have the, the biggest amount of speed. So anything in the outfield is going to score Austin Riley. Jordan's got to beat the man at third. He will, just barely. MJ Melendez delivers. Whew, good job. Good job with the delivery there. That just got over the second baseman's glove. I thought for some reason he was going to be able to catch that. But it just floats over. And now O'Neill Cruz might have the speed to beat him. They don't even go for it. They go for second base. That was a lot smarter. That was a lot smarter. Oh, it's Max Muncy. The younger Max Muncy. All right, Trevor Rogers. We're paying him a lot of money to be a good pitcher, so let's see if he can deliver. I thought for a second that was the first pitch home run from Key Brian Hayes. It's weird seeing Key Brian Hayes away from the Pirates. Usually the Pirates don't ever let him go unless they trade for him, or they trade him away. Ooh, wow, that was a good hit from Key Brian, but Julio has enough speed to be able to track that down. It's just weird seeing him away. I know we're like seven years in, but still. <laughs> Or six years in. I think we're six years in. It's still a little weird. Brandon Marsh. I haven't seen him in a minute. He's got an awesome beard, though. And he's going to look at a ball. So he's going to get walked by me. I also forgot something. In this offseason... Oh, we're going up against Pete Alonzo. Here we go. I also, in the next offseason... I forgot to do it in this past offseason. I want to put some sort of, like star or some sort of notation on the jersey now that we've won a World Series so that you kind of you so like if you see the jerseys you know that we won a World Series if that wasn't a circle change there might have been a better spot to to throw him out Pete Alonzo will sky that to center field Rodriguez will make the play on it and Brandon Marsh won't go anywhere I didn't realize Brandon Marsh had 85 speed no wonder he made the the steal and now it's Frankie. Frankie Lindor, and he goes down slanging. Trevor Rogers does a good job to get out of that jam. Or get out of trouble, it wasn't really a jam. 3-2 count to Julio. That's how you want to start a, a, an at-bat with a full count. And a walk. I didn't swing. You know I didn't swing. Thank you. Thank you. That would have been a BS call if they would have called that a strike. And now we take a base with Julio because they took a base with Brandon Marsh. So it's only fair. Get there, Julio. Jeez, for a second there, I thought you were going to get thrown out. That was close. Good job. They said it wasn't close in my ear, but it was close. 2-2 Two -two count to Torkelson and Spencer, the defending World Series MVP. Come on, Spence. Give me something in the outfield to give us a three-run lead. He won't do it. He'll ground out to first. Unfortunate. Okay, whatever. That means we just get back to smooth jazz. Smooth jazz. And jazz. Oh, I thought that might have been able to sneak past for a fair ball past the first base bag. But that is a uh, first base bag, first base thing. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, I tried to check swing that. That's my bad. That is, yeah, that's why it's very late, because I didn't really want to swing at that. I tried to check it, but I guess I went around too much. And I swing and miss with Jazz Chisel, something I don't usually do, but I did right there. Okay, I didn't expect that. Come on, Acuna. We didn't bring you in for nothing. I want you to become a vital piece to this team. Give me an RBI. Probably shouldn't have swung at that. Come on, Acuna. Put something in the outfield. Give me some sort of RBI. That's not the swing I was looking for. <sighs> Whoops. That was just a rough inning in terms of just me being bad. I'll hopefully get better. Don't worry. It's a long baseball game. We still got a lot of innings of baseball left to go. But Josh Naylor... Starts off the second inning with a leadoff single. Andrew Vaughn to the plate now. And he will hit that to the wall. Acuna is going to try and make it. He won't be able to. It's going to take off the wall. Josh Naylor doesn't know what to do. He stays at second. Man, they could have gotten some damage done there. Andrew Vaughn delivers a big time hit. And Moreno, Cruz, Chisholm, 
Good job getting out of the double play situation there. Good job. That's two huge outs. Moreno drives in or gets the double play. And now James Wood, if we can just strike him out or something, we can deliver a good inning. Or we walk him. That also is a possibility. Max Muncy, the second baseman. 1-1 one, one count to him. He will foul that one off. And we got to get him out here. Any means necessary. Jazz Chisel makes the play. And that is the end of the inning. Good job. That was close. Those first two at-bats were kind of scary, the way that they were looking. But that double play was massive. And that's going to bounce off Alonzo's glove. Is 65 speed quick enough? It is. Barely. But it is quick enough. Alonzo kept it in front of him. That was 65 speed is just quick enough to be able to beat that. Alonzo did a good job on defense there. Not much he could do. Or he, he did his, he does the most he could do, really. But now we got a chance to even move the runner to second or maybe score a run with a home run. Something. Jordan's not going to do either. He's going to fly out to right field. What? <laughs> I tried my hardest. I guess I was early. Maybe if I wasn't early, that probably would have went further. I don't know. Who's to tell? Who's to tell? Otani does the same thing! And I even had better timing on that one. Wow, I thought that was going to be like off the wall or something. I guess not. I felt a lot better off the bat there than the Jordan one. And MJ Melendez... Out of all the people, MJ Melendez is the one who sends it the furthest. It's just caught by uh, James Wood in center field, or really technically that was right field. <laughs> but that one felt the best off, or not the best off the bat, but that one went the furthest. And that is a, that is the quintessential definition of painting the corner right there. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Good pitch. Why do they have Brandon Marsh, who's 85 speed, on the bench as the DH? That's a little weird feel like he would be more valuable in the outfield, but whatever. Oh, what a bloop. Brandon Marsh is becoming a, quite the weapon for for them against us here. Two for two. That was a great bloop. And I wouldn't be surprised if he steals a bag here, just like he did earlier. Here comes the circle change. Alonzo trying to get him to strike out. It's always dangerous pitching against Pete Alonzo. We know from experience. And that's why, because Pete Alonzo just hit a two-run home run to tie the game. That's why. We've seen that plenty of times in the years that he was here. I was trying to throw a fastball to throw out the runner, Brandon Marsh. That's why I threw the fastball. And Pete Alonso took advantage of it, and he sent that over the wall. That's exactly what I was talking about. And then Francisco Lindor, my God! Two-seamer, he sends miles high. And the two former Chicago Cougar players have back-to-back -back home runs against their former team. And now the Blue Jays lead 3-2. to two. Okay, that is um, certainly not how I expected this inning to go, but whatever, we move on. Man, of course it was the two guys that we moved on from. Of course it was. It had to be, didn't it? Oh, Rogers keeps it in front of him. Good job. And he should be able to get him out, and he does. Probably... Should have showed a little bit more urgency to throw the ball there. Whatever. Andrew Vaughn had the big-time single. That probably should have been a double, but he only made a single out of it. He sends that one foul, and we'll go circle change here. Hopefully not any more home runs happen. Big strikeout. He's way out in front of it. So damage had been done by the Blue Jays here. Back-to-back -back home runs from both former Cougars. And the Blue Jays lead 3-2. to two. Probably should have just sat on that. Probably should have sat on that, whatever. There was, there most likely was going to be another pitch that was better than that one. That was a slider high and away. And I swung at it? Of course I did. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Julio delivers a double. Most likely. It's got to be. 97 speed, it's got to be a double. And it will be. Good hit from Julio. That's good. That's a good sign. 
Good job, Julio. 0 for 1 for Spencer. Come on, Spencer. I need you to play like your playoff self. If you do that, you can deliver the tying run. Spencer Torkelson does it. And the Cougars are tied again with the Blue Jays. All right. Good job, Spencer. I knew you had it in you. I knew he had it in him to tie that game, and he delivered. And now Smooth Jazz delivers a single. Man, we are rallying with one out in the inning, aren't we? We are rallying. And now it's the guy that you want up in this situation. Come on, Acuna. Acuna, how do you miss that? I'll tell you why. Because I put the PCI way down. You can see that over on the left side, left side of your screen. I pulled the PCI way down. I should have pulled the PCI way down on that one. Instead, it's going to be a double play. Acuna beat it out. So it's a fielder's choice. But that's still not the ideal scenario that I wanted. Austin Riley, for some reason, has two singles. I didn't realize he was uh, two for two today. He's got a chance to be three for three, and he will deliver! Game not tied! 4-3 Cougars. Austin Riley, three straight singles for him. And the boys are delivering. I didn't know this was Christmas Day. We are delivering. Let's go. Come on, Jordan. Oh, that might fall. That might fall. It will. Jordan Alvarez. RBI single on the bloop to right field. And now we have our two-run lead back. Good job, Jordan. And now it's Shohei Otani. I would really love big-time hit from Otani, and I'm going to get it. Shohei Otani down the right field line, and he will deliver another RBI. Three runs. After we tied the game and Shoei Otani with the RBI double. And they're pulling Alec Manoa. They bring in Kevin Gosman. But the damage has already been done to full effect here. We are rallying. We are certainly rallying. MJ Melendez got an RBI in the first inning. Can he get another couple here in the fourth? He might be able to. No, that's not going to fly. Or that's not going to fall. That's okay. We got the tie, and then we have added three more runs on top of that. So I cannot be mad at that inning. That was a great inning. And now we got Trevor Rogers, who gives Gabriel Moreno a nice pitch to hit. But Jazz, with the quick reflexes, able to get there and get the ball out. Ooh, James Wood, why are you so out in front? What were you sitting on there, Reese? I don't know what you were sitting on, but you were sitting on something. And he swings and misses. He goes down swinging. And uh, that's two outs. Max Muncy to the plate. And he, he will foul that off. Okay. We'll go with the two-seamer now. Although two-seamer is what Francisco Lindor hit the home run off of. But not Max Muncy. Trevor Rogers blew that right by him. And that's a strikeout to end the inning. We go top five now. 3-1 count, O'Neal. The real deal, O'Neal Cruz. And he will not get a base hit. Max Muncy was all over that. Okay. But this is where the rally started right here. Julio Rodriguez got the rally started with a double. So let's see if he can do it again and get more insurance runs. I would love that. I would really love that. They've got a guy named Julian Merriweather warming up in the bullpen. Julio will not get a base hit. That'll be to James Wood in center field, and he'll catch that. All right. Whatever. Whatever floats your freaking boat. Spencer Torkelson got the RBI on the Julio uh, single, or whatever he had. And Spencer will deliver another base hit. And that's going to be extra bases. I didn't realize that was going to take as big of a curve as it did. And Spencer Torkelson starting to produce. That's my World Series MVP right there. Good job. 
now we got smooth jazz. Come on, smooth jazz. I need you. And he will not deliver. <laughs> that looked good kind of off the bat a little bit, but then James Wood kind of cleared the distance. And now we go bottom five. Key Brian Hayes to lead off. He will send that to right field. Acuna makes the play. Very simple for Acuna out there and right. And that's the first out of the inning. Now we get Brandon Marsh, who is uh, two for two technically because he has the walk, but only one for one officially. 2-2 two -two count to him, and he will barely make contact with that. Jazz can't make the play, and it's going to be a single for Brandon Marsh. I thought Jazz was going to be able to make that play, and now we get into dangerous territory. This is where they did all their damage. Last time they were up, Pete Alonso, but he will go down swinging. That's huge. Now he's got to get by Francisco. Yeah, I know there's a steal situation. He's stolen all the time. He always steals. He's going to steal here, and it's not going to matter, although he's going to send him to third. If Okuna can throw, there's no way he throws him out there. He had way too much of a lead already. Okay, so Francisco Lindor is becoming a threat for us, and I don't like it. But we do go right past Josh Naylor there. See if we can strike him out and get out of the inning. Come on, Rogers. Okay, don't do it on that one. Oh, I didn't even realize that Trevor Rogers is pitching in the Rogers Center. How fun is that? Josh Naylor is surviving the at-bat here, but he, he still survives the at-bat. He looks at a fastball that's a ball. Come on, Josh. Swing and miss so that we can go home here. My God. Stop fouling off pitches. Yes, thank you. Let me out of the inning here. Good job, Rodgers. That's probably going to be all of Rodgers for this game. We'll bring in Louie Mack, and we'll bring in Yamamoto. We'll warm both of them up. We will bring them both into the bullpen to get them ready. And Ronald Acuna, that's gone. That's gone. Ronald Acuna Jr., my first home run with him. Santa Maria. It felt good, so good off the bat. That might have even been perfect, perfect. That one felt so good off the bat. It feels so good to hit a home run with Ronald Acuna. It's been coming for a month now, and we finally do it. First one on camera as a Chicago Cougar player. And it was an absolute rocket into left center. 417 is the distance, 108.8 off the uh, for the exit below. And we get another insurance run for Trevor Rogers as we absolutely crush that baseball. And Austin Riley, that's going to fall, isn't it? Four for four for Austin Riley. Four singles. He is cooking. Let Riley cook. And he is certainly cooking some five-star meals right now. Jordan, I should not have swung at that, but that might get down. It will! It's going to be extra bases! Oh, man, if I would have just believed in myself that that was going to fall, that could have been an RBI if I had Austin Riley running. But instead we just get to second and third, but that's okay because there's nobody out and Otani at the plate. It's almost a guaranteed RBI when Otani steps up. We just gotta deliver. He had a double last time he was up, so I'm expecting something better, maybe a triple or a home run. And he will get a single, maybe. Great play by Max Muncy. So he doesn't get a single, but it's an RBI. Great play though. That was a great defensive play by Max Muncy. That would have been two RBIs if he doesn't make that play. Full count to MJ Melendez. And MJ will get another RBI. Hey, that's all you can ask for, man. That's all you can ask for. Just move the runner and get him in. Oh, they pulled Gosman and they bring Harold Gonzalez. Don't even know who that is, but he's at the he's on the mound and he's got a one-two count against O'Neill Cruz in the top of the sixth. Make that a two-two count. Last eight games for Odell Cruz, a triple, two doubles, and five RBIs. So O'Neill, I'd have to say, is pretty hot his last week or so of the season. 
He will smoke that into the right field. 99 speed, you, you bet your booty I am stealing with O'Neill Cruz. That was perfect, perfect. I am stealing this baseball, but I'm also going with Julio Rodriguez because I might be able to send him home here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I got to send him home now. No, I don't have to send him home. I screwed this up. <laughs> I screwed that up. That's on me. That's on me. All right. I am going to let Rodgers go into the six. This might be a bad idea. Might come back to bite me, but we do have a six-run advantage in this game, so I can kind of spare it if Rodgers gets into a jam. Andrew Vaughn delivers a leadoff single. Not the worst thing in the world. Oh, but that's a double play. Cruz to Chisholm to Torkelson. Big-time double play. Man, Gabriel Moreno, is that who that was? He has been struggling today. He has been struggling. Now we got James Wood. Got Wood? No, I don't. Let's strike out James Wood here. I would appreciate that. Nope, but he goes to Riley at third, and Riley will deliver the strike to first base, and Trevor Rogers completes six strong innings. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of Spencer Tor of uh, Trevor Rogers, not Spencer Torkelson, who I also am kind of proud of, but he's going to get out for the first out of the inning, so maybe I'm not too proud with him. What are we doing there, Spencer? You're the MVP of the playoffs. 3-1 count to Smooth Jazz. He's going to get a little bit of a stinky cheese, and that's going to go to Pete Alonzo. Man, Pete Alonzo got a dirty jersey. That is for sure. He's been diving all over the place, doing all kinds of crap. But now we got Ronald Acuna, who had a solo dolo shot last time he was up. Let's see if we can do that again. Come on, Gonzalez. Give me a pitch up in the zone so I can crush it. I didn't need it up in the zone. Santa Maria. Ronald Acuna Jr. is paying off in dividends. Yes. Yes! Ronald, ow! Hit my elbow on my desk. Ronald Rocuna Jr., my man, my dog. Two home runs, back to back at bats. That's why we got him. That's right, why we got you. A no doubter. That is why we paid the big bucks and traded away our pieces to get him because of plays like that. And Austin Riley might have done the same thing. Austin Riley! Home run, Austin Riley! Santa Maria! That did not even feel that great off the bat. Five for five for Austin Riley. Four singles and a solo shot. Wow. Okay. This offense can cook. That did not feel that good off the bat. But it, uh, it got over the wall, and Austin Riley back-to-back -back home runs. Wow. All right, and they pull uh, Harold Gonzalez, and they bring in Julian Mayweather. Merriweather, excuse me. What a wild uh, couple of at-bats that was with Acuna and, and Riley. Man, that did not feel good off the bat. I did not think that was going to be a home run. I don't think that's going to be a home run, though. Huge inning for us. Huge inning for us. You love to see it. That's going to be all for Trevor Rogers. We'll bring in Yamamoto to try and get us to the eight. If we can get us to the eight, then we might be able to bring in, I don't know, Doyle Atkinson or something. I'm not bringing in Luther Curtis, that's for sure. He's dead to me. He is dead to me. Once we get further into the season and we figure out what kind of starting pitcher uh, we need to move on from, then we will package Luther Curtis along with that starting pitcher and we will send him away to his new team because he is hes dead to me. As long as I'm playing, Luther Curtis will never get into another game. He might get into games in simulation, obviously, 
unless I just move him down to AAA. But as of right now, as long as I'm playing a game, Luther Curtis will never get into another one. But Yamamoto does a good job to get us to the eighth. We have uh, certainly piled on some runs the last couple innings. Oh, that one felt pretty good off the bat. Not good enough, though. Man, I really wanted to hit a home run with Otani, man. I wanted to hit a home run with Shohei. MJ Melendez. I wonder what the MJ stands for. Major jerk? Maybe. <laughs> Marty Janetti. If you know, you know. But he flies out, so I guess his name doesn't matter. And we go O'Neal Cruz, two outs. Is O'Neal Cruz part of the what started the rally last inning? He might have been. Because he got a single to start it. Maybe. Who really knows? Who really knows what love is? Oh, that, that was such a good pitch that I could have hit for such a long way. But unfortunately, I didn't hit it for such a long way. That's all right. Whatevs. Whatevs. We bring in Doyle Atkinson to try and get rid of the boys here in the bottom of the eighth. At least we don't have to go into the bottom of the ninth dealing with these guys. We have to hopefully deal with the bottom of their lineup, which isn't as dangerous, but Pete Alonzo... Way out in front of that slider. I don't know what he was looking for. Francisco Lindor has been dangerous the last two at-bats with the home run and then the single. So let's try and uh, not have him do that again. And he's going to send that to left field. Alvarez should make the play, and he does. That's two quick outs for Doyle. Good job. Josh Naylor has not had the greatest of days. And it will continue to not be that great as Doyle makes the play. That helps being like six foot four, six foot five for Doyle. Good job. And that's the end of the eighth. We go into the ninth. We'll warm up Reynaldo Lopez. I should probably sit down Louis Mack. Julio right past the third baseman. Julio Rodriguez. I'm going to send him to second base. This might be a bad idea. But 97 speed's just quick enough to get there. Two doubles in the game for Julio Rodriguez. He's playing out of his mind today. And Spencer Torkelson, two for four. And Spencer will not deliver anything more than just to move it into third. Okay, that works, because that gives us another insurance run possibility. I mean, we already have 11 to 3 lead. It's not like we need any more insurance runs. But you can never have too many insurance runs, especially uh, when you're playing a team like the Blue Jays, who are always pretty good. And I just realized, I, for I had forgotten that Smooth Jazz with a beautiful hit. I had forgotten that the Blue Jays lost Vladimir Guerrero. I didn't even realize. That didn't even come together until just now. They, I think he's playing for the Red Sox in this series now. Two... Straight back-to-back -back home runs for Ronald Acuna Jr. Can he make it three for three? They're going to try to pitch him a little bit safer now. Will Ronald Acuna make it three for three for home runs? Oh my God, he would have if that was fair. If I would have had a little bit better timing, that would have been three straight home runs for Ronald Acuna Jr., which would have been crazy. I don't think that had ever been done in Cougars history. Three straight at-bats. Three straight home runs, but it will not happen. It'll be another RBI, though. So that's cool. Okuni's having a great day. 13-3. Good job, Acuna. He's delivering. It's like nine months after the Super Bowl, baby. We are just delivering. 3-1 count to Austin Riley, who also has been so hot. He's 5-for-5. Five five. Last time we had a guy go 6-for-6, six six, it was Julio Rodriguez last season. And Austin Riley might have done the same thing. No. He finally gets out. 
Four singles and a home run is all Austin Riley could give us today, which I'm not complaining about. That was very much needed. Alvarez. And a 2-1 on the way. And there's a ball. Left-hand batter waits. Out to center. Wood settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that'll do it. One more coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The Cougars with the advantage on the scoreboard, 13 to three. New pitcher on now, Ronaldo Lopez. And a healthy size lead for him to go to work with. One away. Now and next for catcher. Toronto, Gabriel Moreno. Moreno. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. But why to kick the pitch? The three two oh. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And he beats it. He's safe. Now and the batter now, Max Muncy. Lined into right. That's a base hit as a run scores. The relay, the tag, out. But they do get a run. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Key Brian Hayes next up for the Blue Jays. High fly ball out to center field. And that'll do it. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves you've got some good momentum but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well so they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot 13 4 is your final dave roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show i'm john chambi saying so long and we remind you
I'm gonna have to take a deeper dive and see kind of who is having a good season, who is not having a good season, but we cannot have this kind of inconsistencies with our starting pitchers. I mean, Otani was our ace last year. He basically won us game seven of the World Series. Lucas Giolito's having a fantastic year, but he's also he's also uh, 32 as well, so maybe that's not the kind of situation we want to give ourselves. But, I mean, he had a 16-9 and nine year last year, and now he's 5-1, and one, so maybe it is. Maybe it is what we, we want to do. So, Giolito's an option. Giolito is an option. Walker Bueller is an option. We could also get more along with Walker Bueller, but also that's not an option because he's making too much money. What was the the money that Giolito's making? We'd have 3.39 in the bank if we traded for Lucas Giolito. Flaherty's having a decent season, but we've already dealt with Flaherty. I don't want to deal with him again. <laughs> we've already gone down that road. Uh, Federico Feliz, who are you? I don't know who you are. That would free up a lot of money. <laughs> But I don't want to get anybody that's that low of an overall. I mean, he may turn out to be something in a few years, but I kind of, if I'm going to trade Shoya Otani, I want to get somebody that is of equal overall. And it probably would have to only be Giolito, who's out of all the pitchers that we just went through, Giolito's having the best season. So maybe something happens there. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to trade Shoya Otani, but it might happen. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Next episode, we will take on our former. Chicago Cougar player Chad McAlpin, although I think we've already done that. I think we've already done that. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we've already played him. Because I think we also did it in Detroit, didn't we? So maybe we don't do that. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's keep simulating a little bit. And we lost to McAlpin, it looks like. Max Meyer is injured for two to three months. That's not good. Why are we losing so many games? I don't understand what is happening here. Otani got a win. We're losing weird games. Games we shouldn't probably be losing. Acuna is out for one to two weeks, but we swept the Angels. That's good. So we keep alive with the the Astros. Or swept, we swept the Mariners. Uh, why don't you doing that? We swept the Twins. We play the, the Angels next. Shane Baz is 6-2. and two. He's having a great year. We might as well get to that game against with Shane Baz. So the Cougars don't have four valid lineups. I understand because Acuna is injured. So we will have who should play right field. We should probably have. I mean, we could have Jackie Salazar play right field. You know what? Let's just have him play right field. Yeah, that's fine. Jackie Salazar can come in and play right field for us. I'm fine with that. Hopefully that doesn't uh, screw things up. And the first big trade of the year, Ty France heading to the Astros from the Mariners. Mariners get back two players. Is it worth it? I don't know. But we are on a, a nice win streak, a much needed win streak. And now we lead the division, finally. And next game we will play the 20 and 27 Angels in Anaheim. Corbin Burns is 1-5 with a 5-2-9 ERA. Shane Baz is 6-2, so he's having a great year. But we are going to have to figure thing, some things out between this episode and next episode. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of Otani's, like, his, Otani's time here in, in Chicago. But we're going to have to figure some things out because we've got to free up that money. We can't have a negative budget like that. So something's going to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.